June is Employee Wellbeing Month, and who better to offer some tips on ensuring your well-being than our own go-to wellness expert, Cassie Sobleton. Good morning, Cassie. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so let's start with food. What are some of the ways we can promote our health by eating healthy at work? That's a real challenge for a lot of people. It is, and if you think about it, an employer has employees for 8 to 10 hours a day, yeah. so you can really affect you know, change and there are healthy cafeteria options that can come in. Um, even the employer could subsidize that. Um, there's healthy food trucks that are starting to pop up all over the place. Healthy vending, being able to provide a high speed blender so that the employee can make smoothies at work because they're very expensive for everyone to buy at home, but to have it at work, that's pretty useful. Yeah, and those smoothies are really filling. And, they are. And certainly uh, can be uh, healthy. Now, you know, for lots of folks, they're stuck sitting down, they're on their bottom yep. for those eight to 10 hours a day. Absolutely. And it's hard to be active. Are there ways we can be active while still getting our jobs done and giving our bosses the uh, productivity they, uh, they ask for? Yeah, one of the really big trends that are happening right now is um, stand up desks mm -hmm. or even treadmill desk or you mm -hmm. know, kiosk is that employees can run out very much like they'd run out a conference room. So they can at least still get some type of movement while they're getting their work done. But if that's not possible, there's also walking meetings that can be really effective if you don't have to take a lot of notes. Mm -hmm. um, you can have walking paths around the the campus so that employees can take a break. Um, you know, even simple things like taking printers out of an office and putting them into a main area. So every time you print, you have to get up and move and go somewhere. Right. It can make a big difference throughout the day. What about some of those exercises that people can do while they're sitting? Are those really effective in terms of strengthening your muscles yeah. and just moving you, making you more limber? Do those work? They do, and they're also those balls, you know, those chair balls that mm -hmm. you can sit on, and those will help with the core. But, you know, even doing little stretches throughout the day, if you're having repetitive movements all the time, eventually you're going to have problems with that area or maybe carpal tunnel. So learning those stretches can really help. Now, the employers may say, look, we have these great ideas, but how can employers help educate their, or both educate and sort of entice their employees to take advantage of these options? Right, so there are a lot of vendors out there, wellness vendors. Um, I'm actually the CEO of Simbella. We're a corporate wellness vendor, and so we go into corporations and we put on different presentations, programs. We might do health fairs and smoothie bars, whatever it is to educate employees how to take that next step, to get a little bit healthier and how to work that into your, your day, your work day. Now, if you're if you work for a corporation and you're like, you know something, we have a bunch of hard chairs, mm -hmm. uh, the food the food choices are bad. Right. I mean, how do you open this conversation up with your employer? Like, you know something, maybe we can do things a little differently around here. Right. Well, for our benefit and yeah, yours. Right. And one of the biggest problem, of course, you know, healthcare costs. So, you know, opening it in that way. Let's start helping our employees get healthier because we're going to see a return three to eight years really is how long it's going to take. And having that discussion with your C-suite, the first thing you want to do is create a culture of health. So the food options, the movement options, you know, stress reduction is a huge part of that. Teaching your employees how to reduce stress, maybe meditation rooms or relaxation rooms. Being able to give them a place to go unplug for a few minutes is really helpful. All right. Well, Cassie Sobleton, thank you so much for thank joining for us this morning. Me. Appreciate it. And of course, we all can be a little healthier. I think I need to. I would stand up, but then I'd be out of right. the shot. When we come <laughs> back, we're going to tell you about an event kicking off summer vacation and it's happening this weekend in Livonia. That's great. Thank you.